So what is up guys, welcome back to part 2 of Hand of Fate, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Last time we set off we killed Jack of Dusk, I believe his name was, and uh, pretty much got wrecked, I'm not going to lie, so we're just getting used to the buttons, used to the cards and everything ah, else, good. so now playing again. Now you understand again. the basics, we can begin in earnest. Your so, hero is oh. returned to his beginning items, our decks are reset. Welcome to the cabinet, home of the members of my court. So basically what we just did there was, by well, the sounds of it, a tutorial level, which, you know, did, did and didn't explain a little bit. We didn't know how to sort of sort out our cards or make our own deck or anything. We understand the purpose of the game, though, moving forwards, uh, attacking, countering, and loads of other different things like that. So, in this mode is unlocked. I believe we're going to do story mode first. So let's do story mode, and here we go. So the cabinet here. Nope, tell a lie. He, that was the tutorial. This guy was the tutorial in particular. So we're going to play uh, Jack of, is that Jack of Skulls? Yes, it is. Jack of skulls, three times two of skulls, and three times supplies. Choose an exponent. Time for you to face my undead army. Okay. Meet the Jack of skulls. Too many jacks. I believe the Jack that we killed here previously is now this guy. Come from the dead, maybe. And obviously that um, option for deck builder has arrived. So, which is good. Would you like to recommend? Would you like to use recommended equipment encountering? Yes, okay. Your deck has been updated. So, not great that it can sort of do that for you because obviously it doesn't know what I want in this. Uh, see, for instance, like this. I don't want this. I'd love this. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a shield. It is a shield. That's armor. I'm not sure what this is though at all. I see. Wait for another one there. Quit to helmet, not bad. Come in there. What does this one do here? Oh, this is is this my deck here now? Okay, fair enough. This is my deck. Okay. So move that and put these in there. Axe, mm, how much am uh, 25, oops, not too bad, how much does a sword have, 23, oh okay, probably have one sword, to be totally fair, a little axe, and then obviously a healing cap, sweet, want to change anything else, how many shields do we have, I suppose it's best to have shields isn't it, change of rage, this one. This card is new. It's a bit unknown. During play, your secrets will be revealed. Great. Okay, let's put that one back. And then we can go back. There we go. Okay, so pretty much uses the recommended one, which is not too bad, actually. So let's start the game. Here we go. New content awaits you. It will be awarded when you complete your run. Okay. I will add my own cards to the deck. How boring life would be without a little spies. Hmm. Very RNG and the fact that it's sort of not shuffled in front of me really does put me off to be telling for life and death. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself, son. There we go. I'm starting to wonder if you're simply leaving this card in as a quick way to get your hands on a shield. Maybe. Um, travel along the hill takes the next step is yours. You trap shoulder, painful with the wooden staff to get your attention. And if you notice, he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wiz uh, what? wizard face gaze gazes at you with a hint of madness. My name is Butthole. If you give me what I need, boy. Well, I'll crap you and start believe the death of the wandering wand, bone creation. Um, deep in 20 gold, which you don't have. Give the bread off your plate. I'm gonna choose that option to see how much. It's only one, okay. Draw one shield card. Ooh. New shield. Which I believe we equipped it anyway. So he's done that, you can fuck off now. See you later, mate. We're giving him only one food to get a shield, which is really quite good. It lives in every game. That initial moment where things begin. So there's a basic I've worked on these cars Shh. all my days. And the canyon has been there from the outset. 
and I'm trying to explain what this card is. So basically this card is that we had it in the last tutorial. Um, there's a shiny weapon down the middle of a cove or a cave here. And obviously you can climb down and receive the weapon. It will shuffle the cards here. For instance, like this. And I have to choose correctly, which I have, success. So I have to get the weapon. Very carefully the way to the bottom of the canyon, draw one weapon card. So an axe. Um, rush the axe, disrupt the axe. Uh, I'm going to equip this one now because yeah, I have this equipped, and this one is what I have available. So obviously, 20 damage on the side, which is kind of shit, and then 25 damage on this one. So we're going to do yes, I equip that one. Slightly better. Rush the axe can discard now and put it in the other pile. Maiden. Given how rarely one encounters the folk, you are fortunate indeed to meet Merit again. Or perhaps we are merely cycling around the wheel and dipping into the same memories time and time again. Well, it is a recommended deck, so probably. Uh, one day in the Shadow Forest you can encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. Ask for longer lives. Ask for gold. Hmm. Mm, I'm going to ask for gold, please. Draw three gold cards. You gain 20 gold. You draw 15 gold. And the final card, you draw 30 gold. Awesome. 65 gold. Thank you very much. It's a freebie. I decide which one it wants to be. Bound once more, seeking the heart of And we're going to go upstairs. Your journey is well begun. Because with the last Many card. Have reached this far. Further, in fact. I do not know if you have what it takes to do better than they did. Well, no shit, bro, we're at the start of the game. But anyway, that's their thing obviously advances to the new set of cards. Sort of like a sort of a dungeon crawler, but with cards, to be tell you. So the next card is A Traveller. Ooh. Definitely gonna go to that. So let's go to that now. Approach the shop as we have 65 gold. See with the traveller, I must have I have much to offer you. So let's have a look, shall we? Let's go into the traveller. What up, bro? Um, buy items. What do you have for me? Have an axe? You have a sword? I believe these are things that I have in my infantry, but I can just straight out buy them. A classical approach to dealing with crowds. Artifacts provide powerful special abilities to use in combat, but it takes time to ready them. Now I'm going to buy my armor as well. Armor, armor protects yes. you from damage. The best armor, of course, does so much more. Well, no shit. So I think we're good for that. Let's leave the merchant now. Yes, we got medium armor and we equipped it. Some other strange thing as well. So back to the car plane. Traveler is gone. So let's move to the next one. Ooh, maze of traps. New. A cave. Traps. And the hope of treasure. It's all I could ask for, Ooh. and more. I want that, so I'm going to enter the cave. You enter the cave. Oh shit, I actually entered the cave. Wow. That's pretty cool. And it is pitch black. Brilliant. Medium armor, shield, my axe. Now we begin to raise the stakes. The arena itself will fight against oh, you. Facts. Okay. Beware of my traps. Okay, bro. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. I don't like the look of this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Can I break these? Anything interesting in these? Probably not. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Escalade. 
We've beaten the maze three now. A potion sweet. Not bad. Two, three armor and keep. One, two, three. Not bad. Oh, mama. Yes, equipped. 32, the I'm holy. Impressed. Few select these sorts of weapons because nobody ever anticipates being in peril. Such misplaced confidence is usually their downfall. Huh. Not bad of the luck of the draw there. Not the bad. token is yours. Thank you. Well done. Oh, cool. We get a little pots each. So basically, little pots to rack up my tokens and uh, get cards at the end. Pretty interesting. Not gonna lie. I always get thought it was best to avoid the problems of others. I see you have no such concerns. You hear a scout from up ahead, sound of battle, racing towards you. There was a warrior surrounded by undead. Oh fucking yes, let's go. Two undead. More oh skeletons God. for you to deal with. Reveal. Holy shit, 27 mace. New. I'll take that, bro. Uh, no, I don't want to quit, but I will keep that card if I'm allowed it. 27 against the 32. It's pretty unknowledgeable which one I'm actually going to choose, isn't it? Two undead skeletons. There's not really a lot, to be fair. Why did he run away? Such a pussy. Such a pussy, man. Okay, here we go. Two of them. One of me. Let's equip my stuff. Shield, armor, axe. Let's go. Easy. A mace. Boom. Off comes the Zed. And obviously I have my artifacts as well. Not sure what key binding that was though. Whoops. Good work putting them to rest. Keep the mace. Cheers, bro. Stop around to look at the own figures. More than here than I suspected. Some honor and all the way. Take the card, it's now yours. Thank you for the token as well, big boy. More cards for three enemy for two enemies. And stairs, so we have answer the next Head step. downwards, if you dare. Kind of after you to finish, bro. Now all you need to do is find and kill the Jack of Skulls, and we can progress. Goblin, being a scout, I mean, goblin. I can use a strength and fierce survival. I apply more on uh, some methods and steal from you when you're asleep and escape through the magical portal. Bastards. There's a token in it for you if you win. One night you awaken to find your belongings being shuffled, well, rifted through. By goblins as soon as they notice you oh shit yeah I get it okay we're gonna have to go and kill these yeah so basically have to hunt them down and squish them before they get away so it'll be a windy path basically with a couple of fucking goblins and put money on it and we're gonna have to kill them before they exit to the point so food's been fucking nicked two goblins and he's got a weapon Alright, let's go, you shithead. That one doesn't seem to be doing much, I'm gonna lie. We're gonna kill this bad boy as well. Oh, strength the crumpet again. Oh, his little shiny face. And obviously, get to keep my artifact because I haven't used it this turn. Goblins, and are yours. Thanks for the token, bro. Three tokens so far. Not bad. And more at the end as well. Not gonna lie. The shop. Not bad. Bad. A shady groove off barrel trail. We find a traveling merchant look to trade. This wondrous adventure. Approach the shop. Mm. I'll pass it by. Purely because I just don't think we need anything. Okay. Dead King's Hall. Greed. If it were not for greed, then who would play at this game? Mm hmm. Very true. So, six enemies in total. Not bad. Nah, take them by surprise, let's go. Really? Huge success. 
Oh shit. Does that mean I still have to find them? Oh, I'm obviously going to discard that one, aren't I? So, <laughs> well, let's discard the two boys. What a stupid decision. Here we go. No, big boy. I've had some slow motion there. Boom. Ended. Easy mode. That was a fucking beast. I'll have that token now, please. Through, gain three cards, and that's yours. So, armory, not bad. Fun equipment, shield. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. Every. Shield, Ash your target, stunning it. Uh. No. Are you sure that's the right approach? Uh, yo, bro, I'm playing my own damn game. I'm sure Tell you're me. grateful for that. Give me the token. You're sackhead. Ambush. What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? Well, well, the exact same thing that you thought, that, that I would get ambushed. Surely that's a logical thing to think, would it not be? It's only two. I'm not quick enough on that. Oh, shit. Loving the animation on that. I just got KO'd on that as well. Damn, sit down, sir. Ambush. Sneak up and kill them. Three out of four percent chance. Let's just go that. You fucker. Is this the guy we're looking for? It is. Jack of Skulls. The guy dead. Of all the players in the game, these are the most dangerous in the world, yet in no natural form. A wrongness, an error, cheating. Well, they are dead, so that probably all concurs together. So, guys, if you want to see me take on Jack of Skulls, make sure to hit me up with a like, comment, and let me know how you guys are feeling about this. Uh, I'm really enjoying it, to be totally fair. But uh, in part three, we're going to be fighting Jack of Skulls, so stay tuned for that one. But as always, guys, kill a kid and kill a kid out.